Hello, church, and welcome to today's Mililani Minute. Over the past several weeks, uh, each of us pastors have been doing our own series within these minutes, uh, but starting today, we'll be doing a joint series. Uh, we'll be doing this series on the attributes of God, the different things that make God who He is, the things that we see all throughout Scripture. And today, we'll be starting with the holiness of God. I think one of the best places we see the holiness of God described is in Isaiah 6, uh, chapter 3, uh, where it says, And one, speaking of the seraphim, and one called out to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Now I think one thing that's important to know with the holiness of God, or when any time holy is uh, used, it means set apart. It's it's set apart for something. It is set apart for some reason. Uh, but God is just apart. He is completely different. Um, he is wholly different from us. Uh, there is nothing like him. And in fact, the only thing that we see described three times with the repetition of three like that uh, regarding God is his holiness. Uh, in the ancient Hebrew language, they didn't say very or very, very. They, they repeated the word. So he's not holy. He's not very holy. He is the most holy. He is completely different. And all of the other attributes pour out from this differentness. He is so different, which is why he is all these other things as well. He's uh, a saic. He is omnipresent. He is omnipotent. He is all these things, and all of those come out of his holiness. And we need to understand that we can't stand before God because he is holy and we are not. As in the same passage, we see Isaiah 6, Woe for me, for I am undone. For I'm a man of unclean lips, and I'm from a, a people of unclean lips. He knows that he is unholy, and therefore if he stands before a holy God, he will be undone. He will be ripped apart. There will be nothing left. And it's not because of anything other than God is so holy, and we are so not holy, that he cannot be in the presence of sin. And it's not something that stops him. It's not that he can't come into a room where sin is, but in his, in his full presence, that sin would disappear. It would be done away with. And when we see that we're described as holy, it is because he makes us holy. He makes things holy. It is through Christ that we are able to come before him, but only through that sacrifice. But when we hear uh, us described as holy, it is because God sets us apart. Uh, we see that in 1 Peter 2, where we're described as a holy nation, uh, we're set apart. He has made us holy because we are His people. We follow Him. We trust in Him. We are His nation. Therefore, we are set apart. That's what the church is. In Greek, it is the set apart. But we're not set apart because we're so good. We're set apart because we are His, and He makes us that way. In 1 Peter 1, the same, the same epistle chapter earlier, it says, Be holy, for I am holy. But it's not that we are holy, but instead it's that we act holy. We act in a good way. We act in a way that is different from the world. We live in the world, but we aren't of it. And we do this because our God is holy. We show that we are different, not because we are different, but because our God is different and he has made us different. He has transformed us. And that is why we worship our God. We worship our God because he is holy, because he is different. It is important to remember that God is the most different. There is nothing like him. In fact, everything else is under the same category. Everything else is creation. But God is creator. He is the only creator. Any creator, any human who is a creator in some way, whether it's like me writing music or others painting or others building, we're not creating. We're making from creation something else. God is the only true creator. And for more uh, study on the holiness of God, I recommend reading R.C. Sproul's The Holiness of God. It's one of the best studies that I've read on his holiness, and it's very understandable. But 
as we continue our study of the attributes of God through these minutes, but also just our study of who God is in our own reading of scripture or listening to sermons or listening to whatever else you may listen to, we need to remember that God is holy. He is completely set apart. He is something different because he is perfect and everything else is flawed and fallen. And the only perfectness anywhere else, the only goodness anywhere else is because he is holy and has made his people holy. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you uh, for the ability to come together and look at these things. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that you have given us the scriptures through your prophets and uh, through the apostles, through the inspiration of your spirit, that we may know a little bit more about you, that we can see who you are and that you are holy, that you are completely different, that you are the set-apart one. And I just pray that as we continue looking at your attributes and as we continue our study of your word and whatever way each of us may do that, that we can see that you are holy and that you have made your people holy for your purpose. We pray these things in your name. Amen.